A challenge to a Tuscaloosa City School Board election is in the hands of a judge. Attorneys for Kelly Horwitz and Kaysen Kirby took their case to the 6th Judicial Court before Judge James Roberts. WBUA's Jennifer Edwards joined us in studio with the latest in tonight's top story. Lynn, Kelly Horwitz's team is hoping to have over 300 University of Alabama students take the stand, while Case and Kirby's team is asking for Judge Roberts to deny this request. Tensions ran high today as attorneys for Kelly Horwitz and Case and Kirby presented their cases to Judge James Roberts. The purpose of the hearing today was for the contestant to offer prima facie evidence of illegal votes, and our position was they haven't offered any prima facie evidence. We gave 397 names of, of voters that we suspect that we told the court we expect we'll be able to prove that when we get these people on the witness stand and we think they'll tell the truth. Much of today's hearing centered around that list of nearly 400 University of Alabama students that was filed by Horwitz's team last week. Judge Roberts asked Horwitz's attorney, James Anderson, to provide evidence supporting the claim that these students voted illegally. You had to reside in that district for 30 days prior to the election. We have 93 people that changed their voter registration within 30 days. They were registered at home and they changed their voter registration within 30 days of this election. Anderson argued that many of the students did not meet residency requirements or were intimidated or bribed to vote. We've had uh, emails that, that we gave to the court today that show that concert tickets were given to people that proved that they voted in the election. Case and Kirby's attorney, Andrew Campbell, objected to all of Anderson's claims, saying they were broad allegations and hearsay. They gave us a list of 400 names, but they're not claiming that many, but they won't tell us which ones, and we don't know, and they didn't present evidence of any of the day. Judge Roberts will issue a ruling on the evidence provided during today's hearing at a later undetermined date. A trial date is currently set for October 31st. Live in the studio, Jennifer Edwards, WVUA News.